Welcome back to the channel. As requested, per requested, <laughs> we are going to do a flip through of the letter of the week preschool curriculum <laughs> by Erica. She's excited. By Erica over at Confessions of a Homeschooler. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and I'll also show you my toddler. She's growing out of toddlerhood and <laughs> actually using the curriculum. So stick around. Once again, thank you for joining the channel. My name is Morgan here at The Life of Tillman, and this is Mallory. She's been requesting to be Can on camera. Can I just do uh... Say hi. 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 Okay, hi. just a minute, just a minute. I'm gonna show you first how I store the curriculum, and then I will open it up and show you guys. Here is where I store the curriculum. This is her bin, and it is all here. You can see letter of the week. This is her morning, um, daily morning notebook. And then I have letter A and E, and then I, O, and U. So I'm gonna grab first out the parent manual. Then I will grab her binder. Hold on guys, I'm about to drop it all. And then we'll go through letter A and I'll show you what it looks like. Here is her morning daily learning notebook for preschool. When you open it up, I actually printed these off of Erica's um, site for the memory verses, but you don't have to use it. This does not come with the PDF for that. When you get your PDF, you are going to get this that goes through the days. Sorry about the shadowing there, but it goes through the days. <laughs> I'm trying to get in the right position, guys. Okay. It goes through the days and I put these in page protectors or sheet protectors and it has here. So today I'm recording this and it is Monday, May the 3rd. So what we will do is she will go through and trace Monday. We will talk about Monday. We'll say it, we'll spell it. And then she will color in the third. Then as we go down here, the number before, which will be two, today's number is three, the number after is four. I wish these did have a tracing spot because she's not exactly where she needs to be for being able to write them on her own, but I guide her hand and we go through that. Down here, I have the number 16, this is old, but what you would put right here would be the number three and she will go through and trace the spelling for the number three. And it has one for every day of the week. It also has Sunday. I put Saturday and Sunday toward the end because we usually don't use it or we'll catch up on Monday. Then it goes over here to your what time is it? We'll talk about the time. I will fill in the, the hands for the time. We will also talk about the temperature and what it feels like outside and then what she has on and we'll go through that part. And we'll just, I'll let her color. She usually just scribbles all over it, but we try to get the marker the right color um, as a, according to what she has on. And that's how we'll go about that part. Here, this is May of 2021. And we're gonna start here on the third. I'll have her go back and trace the first and the second. And then you can have an option. You go through and do the weather and you'll shade in what your weather looks like for this entire month. You'll do it day by day. And that is the same for each of the months. Another thing that I really love about this is that it says I can write my name. My printer was running out of ink, but says, I can write my name. So we will start, we will go here and we'll start in May and I will have her practice writing her name. We'll go through and then it just shows you over time the progression of your child and their ability to write their own name. I love that. The only thing is I will probably go through and trace, have it uh, dash marks so that she can trace her name first and we'll probably do that for about four months or so or until she's ready. Then I will have her work on writing it on her own. It also comes with extra practice sheets that you can copy as well. Here's where you create your tabs and you get your numbers. You have zero here, it goes all the way to 20. I have two sets in here that go up to 20. Um, I had some extra from my big girls using it, so I figured why not leave them in there and that gives her more practice. They can trace these, they can put something on each dot, they color, glitter. I said that in my other video, but we will not be using glitter. <laughs> but those are options for you to make this a really fun craft for number recognition and learning how to write those numbers. 
Then it goes on to letters. I also have a double set of letters in here as well. So the letter A, and then you would talk about uppercase A, lowercase A, the sound that it makes, different animals and food, things like that, insects, and then your child would trace the letter A. And it does this for each letter of the alphabet. And what you would do is go through one of these letters according to the letter that you're working on for that week. So if we're starting here at letter A, we're gonna go through letter A and we'll do this. And I'll show you the plan, but we'll do this and then we will just go over it every day. She wouldn't repeat this, the tracing every day, unless she really wanted to and we had the time, I wouldn't, I don't mind. It's a part of the morning routine, so I wouldn't mind just giving her repetition and doing that. That is something we have done in the past. It does all of the letters. Like I said, I have a double set here. And then we go into shapes. Same thing, create some type of artwork here for your child. They can do that. Gluing things here, stickers, coloring, whatever you want them to do. And then they would trace the shape. It has circle, a triangle, skip it. Triangle, star, Square, pretty much like everything. There's an oval behind here, a diamond, hexagon, heart, a rectangle, a moon, a crescent, probably a crescent. <laughs> Is moon a shape? It's not, it's a sphere. <laughs> a crescent and then also has an octagon which I think is awesome that it has all those pentagon and then a trapezoid and I have a double set of those as well so mine just starts back over at the uh, circle so this is the daily morning binder we will also add in Bible time for that with my big girls next up Next up is the binder. This was what I did for me. Letter of the week, and this is like the teacher's binder. The spines that you are seeing here will also come in your zip drive when you get the curriculum. Here we go. And here are all the spines. I printed all these off on cardstock. Letter of the week is here. I'm gonna turn this around. And this is what you will get when you print it off. It says Letter of the Week Curriculum by Erica, Made Designs, LLC. I can't see no turn pages today. And this is like the disclaimer. Don't share it with anybody. Don't like print it off for anyone else. Nothing like that without her permission. Here is recommended resources and supplies. I didn't do much this this gives you great things so it's like alphabet pattern blocks worksheets dot to dot worksheets um daily learning notebook which is what i have uh, memory bracelets different things that you may need um, a geo board and rubber band this says more helpful school supplies these are optional but are a fun resource to add to your preschool activities some of these i did get we have a geo board not a DIY one. Um, we have wooden clothespins, the disc, we made those. Uh, lots. We have lots of these. I'll show you some of the manipulatives too if you guys are interested in that. Let me know in the comments. But here it is, so daily learning notebook. This is where you would start and this is how you get the notebook together. Of course, you can do that on your own. And then the ABC binders are the ones that I'm going to show you in just a minute for each letter of the week. But then you have songs that you can sing, the alphabet song, days of the week song. Um, there's a different one, the Adams Family version and the Frere Jaca version. Choose one of those. And then the months of the year song. Here is your plan. I've checked these off because I did this with my older daughters. And hopefully you guys can see this. But here's letter A, and on Monday, it says, introduce letter A. Sing song, the A says ah, the A says ah. Every letter makes a sound, the A says ah. That's your introduction. After you have done 
It has on here like the Pledge of Allegiance, doing a song, calendar time, date, review, weather. A lot of this is in your daily notebook. Pledge of Allegiance is not in there, um, but you will do a memory verse. It says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3 and 23. These are printable verse cards that you get. So when you're on her website, she has tons of freebies for you to download and be able to use with this curriculum. So check that out in the process as well. There were lots of things that I downloaded and some of them I'm able to use here. The next thing you do would be the lacing card with color cubes and it says print the file and it tells you what file to print, the PDF, all of that. And then on printed on color construction paper, it gives you instructions exactly what to do. It says have the student make the pattern with the cubes on top of the letter or lace the letter with yarn. I chose the lacing the letter with yarn, but I also go back at times and it depends on which letter, but you go back and you can do it with cubes or any type of shape that you want your child to have and just sit it on top of that letter. The next one would be the Apple coloring page, floor numbers, leapfrog letter factory video, uh, reading, it says pick a book and read aloud to your pre-K daily. Things I marked out would be the alphabet binder, decorate and cover. I'm not really sure what that, I didn't do the alphabet binder, but, um, and then it has make mommy a bracelet. Then you can optional introduce Spanish. So each day it gives you a list of what you're supposed to do. It's all color coordinated and you are just responsible for prepping the material. So letter um, for Tuesday, letter A will be tracing the card with a dry erase marker. Apple cutting practice, an Apple magnet page, a geo board. If you have one, make the letter A with your geo board. I starred that because at the time we didn't have one. The Apple six piece puzzle, letter hunt worksheets. And in here, you'll see that this is blue. That's giving you a link to click on and you'll click on that link and it will take you to these worksheets. You can go in there and print them all off at one time or you can go in when it says for you to do it in your preparation the day before or the morning of and print it off then. I just went in and printed all of them at one time so I wouldn't have to go back and forth. Um, movement, make your body move into the shape of the letter. And then the world's greatest artist, volume two. I don't have that. We didn't do that one. But this is a basic format and you will have one of these for each letter of the week. So here's letter A. It does the vowels first. So A, E, I, O, and U, and then it goes into all of your consonants, and that is the entire thing. Lots of different activities um, and prep and work for you to be able to work through it. This got stuck. Okay, go ahead. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to put the blocks and line up your letter A. Here's what I normally do to get this out. And here we are with the lacing card. Mally, what sound does A make? Ah, mm. ah, good job. Do you want to sing your song? No? No, <laughs> not the alphabet. Let's do this one. The A says ah, the A says ah. Every letter makes a sound. The A says ah. Good job. <laughs> Um, it's, it's okay. It won't go on perfectly. Just put it like this. J A S S A. Good. J A S S A. Every letter C says A. <laughs> Good. Every letter makes a sound. The A says A. Good job. J A S S A. The A says A. Every Next, we're going to do our coloring page. Brenda, will you get that lowercase a coloring page out of there? She has already done the uppercase here. So you have an option. You can choose lowercase, uppercase. It's totally up to you. But we are going to do the lowercase now. While she's getting that together, I'll show you all how I keep the binder. I can't see. Here is the binder, and in preparation, I got all of this together, and I keep it in page protectors. Mallory, hold on. I keep it in page protectors. 
These are the floor numbers. You guys will see her do those in just a minute. But I laminated these for durability when I was using them with my older girls. If this is your only child using this, you don't have any more coming up, I would just print these on regular just cardstock and don't worry about laminating them. But I did that and they have held up very, very well. What I do is simply organize the activities according to here within her binder. So if you'll see, it says the Apple coloring, the A or Apple coloring page. She's getting her A over there. <laughs> Floor numbers are next. I just showed you all that. The video is not in here. Reading book is not in here. So that is all for day one. When you move on, sorry about the shadowing. When you move on to letter A tracing with the dry erase, that is here. I did go ahead and laminate this. Uh oh, hold on, sister. I did go ahead and laminate this, but you don't have to. You could just print it off and put it in a page protector like this. And they can trace over it as many times as you need them to. The next activity is the magnet page. And I made magnets. Here's the magnet page. Let me show you the magnet manipulative. Here are the magnets I made. I had this little bowl, it's my like toddler's eating bowl from like five or six years ago. <laughs> but I just bought some magnets and puff balls and I just glued them on here. I will put this onto a magnetic board that we have. And then the magnets, she will just go through and take a magnet and put it on each of the spots here. Very, very easy. For her, just to step it up a little bit, I will often have her count the amount that she's putting on there. And we will say A is for Apple. And that's it. You're just going to randomly lay the numbers out. Not in order, but close enough for her to be able to hop to, jump to, something like that. Uh -huh. Where's number two? Right here. Good. Get over there, girlfriend. What? <laughs> okay. Can you go to number one? Good job. What about number five? Good. Give her another number, B. Number three. Look really good. Good job. They're sticking to you. What about number seven? Can you find number seven? Seven's over there. <laughs> now you see why I had them laminated, right? <laughs> Good. Go get it. Pick it up and give it to Brenna. Hand it to Brenna. Okay, number two. Right, uh, right here. Good. Give it to Brenna. Where's number three? You might be standing on it. <laughs> Pick it up and give it to Brenna. What comes after three? Let's count. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Good job. Where's number four? Are you standing on number four? Yes, can you give number four to Brenna? Okay, I got it. Good. Let me show you all what else is in there. As you can see, it is full of activities. Also, there is an option on her site too where you can pick and it gives you letter collage ideas, apple seeds, apple jacks, beans, buttons, band-aids to go along with the letter that you're working on. Those are optional. And here are different activities as well. Hold on, let me get this out of here. I put together a couple of the puzzles that are part of this, and I'm not sure, I don't remember which day. You you choose how to cut these. So I cut these the way that I wanted. There was not a line giving you specifications as to how to cut them. So if your child is more advanced, you could cut these in fours, you could cut them in sixes. It's all up to you as to how many pieces you want to cut those in. But I did laminate these as well. This is another one of the puzzles, but this did have lines for you to cut in specific spots. However, you can still cut more 
here as well. It all depends on your child. So that's there's freedom in this, even with it having the specific lines on it. But this is a puzzle that they will work on and you will reiterate A is for apple, go over the sounds, work on spelling of these different words and putting the puzzle together. This is another portion of it. There is also, and I'll put this notebook back together in a second, but there is also the dot to dot markers that you can use for this. These sheets, I just printed off a bunch of them because she loves doing these, but I also bought her a dot marker book as well. Those are there. This is really fun, a scavenger hunt. A, fill your box with things that start with A. Even though your child may not be able to do this, you can still go around or you can have older children go around with your child to help them find things that start with the letter A. And it's just fun. I usually will have her just bring hers to the rug and we will go over what she was able, she and I were able to collect. But this is fun for a little scavenger hunt for your child. There are so many activities here. The next one is patterns. And here are the little pattern pieces. I did go ahead and have these laminated or have them. I laminated them. But here are patterns for you. And your child then just goes through and completes the pattern. This is the um, letter disc match page. Let me show you the letter disc. Here are the letter disc. And this is completely optional. You can just print these and use them with the paper. But I decided to put these on little wooden discs that I found at Hobby Lobby and I cut them out and glued them. I actually have a circle cutter that's a part of our craft room so it just made it easy but I keep them in this little Ziploc bag but she would just go through and match the uppercase letter here with whatever is being spelled. Really fun activity. The only thing that bugs me about them is that these letter discs are a little bit bigger <laughs> than these and she can get a little frustrated sometimes but it still works for us. But that is how we do the letter disc portion of it. Here is another one for number matching. I put Velcro on these and she's able to go through and match the number with the C's here. So much fun, goes all the way up to 10. And this one is another matching. trying to find the little pieces here. Here they are. Using these little bags, but they would match the they would match the uppercase and lowercase letters here on the tree for apple. A is for apple. This is a shapes matching puzzle. There are two sides to it and they would have to match the triangle on the right side with the triangle on the left side. It also has circles. I'm not sure what else, but keep those in there. We have an apple lacing card. So you have the option for lacing cards or they can do different shapes on top of the letters in the beginning. And here is sizing. So put them in order from smallest to largest for your child as well. And that is it for the letter A. As you can see, this curriculum has tons of hands-on activities. I will say that there is preparation needed for it. However, if you do not have children, multiple children using this curriculum, you don't have to do all of the laminating that I've done and the Velcro and things like that. I did that four or five years ago when my oldest daughters were using it so that I could keep it. But if you don't have anyone doing that, I wouldn't do it. And I honestly say you may not even still need to do that because you can always go back and print it, especially if your children are um, further apart in age, you can print it again. It will come to you in a zip drive. You just save it to your computer and then print off what you need as you need it. The curriculum is amazing though. I believe that with all of the manipulatives and things that you add on, it really expands it and makes it a 100% full standalone 
curriculum that is so much fun my toddler loves it she never says i don't want to do this <laughs> there's cutting practice more tracing the math level of difficulty gets increases as you move along through the program it is really nice. So I hope that this flip through was helpful for you. If you have any additional questions, put those down in the comments. We love this curriculum. She will be using it. I don't know how fast she'll go through, but what you just saw was day number one. And that probably took us about 20 minutes. If she wanted to keep going, we would go ahead and go to day number two or day three. And I would fill in things in between. I do have some extra books just to keep her busy because she is so busy. But this curriculum is really um, complete the way it is in its form. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video if it's something that you're interested in seeing more of so that I know what you're interested in. And subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell guys so that you never miss another video here at the Life of Tillman's. And I will see you guys right back here for another video next time. Bye!